Hi, I'm Catherine. I'm the owner and founder of The Harvest Table. We are a KwaZulu Natal based company that supplies health and nutritional supplements across South Africa. We really believe in offering products that have a high nutritional value, as well as educating our customers on the importance of including these products in their daily routine. So when I was in matric, I was 17 years old. Um, I woke up one morning and I literally felt so tired and I thought, gosh, this is unusual. Um, and when I was 16, I'd been diagnosed with um, chronic fatigue syndrome um, and I'd probably taken about six months to recover from that. And I just remember thinking, oh gosh, do I have to go through this again? Um, so I went to my doctor and they did all of the tests that were required, but um, nothing, nothing came of it. And so I started getting um, referred to specialists and I went from specialist to specialist. Um, and so it was very difficult, not only for me, but for my family to obviously kind of deal with what was going on, but still we had no diagnosis. And I remember my mom taking me to the last doctor's appointment and the doctor actually saying to her, look, you know, I hadn't eaten meat at that stage probably for about two years, I was vegetarian. And he said to my mom, just take her home, let her eat some meat, have a good sleep. It's all in her mind. There's nothing wrong with her. And so I started looking to alternative kind of treatments for myself. And I came across a book by a woman called Dulcie Kricher. Now her daughter had something that was called ME in those days. Um, and she had put her on um, a raw food diet and eventually she'd kind of found complete health and wellness in that. And so I thought, well, I've got nothing to lose. No one can really tell me what's wrong with me, so let me try this. I started this eating program and I found that I daily improved. And then towards the end of my second year at university, I found um, an enlarged lymph node in my neck. And I went to my doctor, they um, took a sample and they said to me, no, something's not right here. Um, I then had the lymph node removed and they picked up that I had Hodgkin's lymphoma, which was a lymph cancer. Um, and most likely the sickness that I'd had then for over two years that no doctor had picked up. So after probably eight weeks of treatment, I was um, completely cancer free. And um, the doctors sort of send you off and say you're now well, but actually your journey only starts then. Since then I realized it's far more than just what I eat, it's the state of my mind, it's exercising, keeping my body healthy, um, keeping my stress at bay, laughing daily, having people in my life that I love and respect. It's all of those things, but the foundation really is what I put into my body is what I get out. And so I researched from that point for years and years. I've done lots of reading, um, I've explored this topic and discovered really what is important for me in terms of now feeding my, my family. So I'm now married, I have two children, and I get this opportunity to now educate my children from an early age in terms of what I've learned to give them a really good foundation. Um, and so the harvest table is really that. Come and join us on this journey, come and eat at our table. Let us bring these really beautiful offerings to you that are whole and nutritious. Um, you know that if you buy from us, you know that that product comes from a good source. You know that we have guaranteed that, that my own family uses that product. Um, we believe in environmental packaging, so everything is packaged in glass or compostable packaging. Um, we believe in employing people in this country, so our products are hand packaged, hand labelled. We have a group of ladies down in Pine Town in KZN who are working full time to package the product beautifully with love and care, and they are supporting families. They are the breadwinners for their families. Um, and as this thing has unwound, um, it's become this beautiful expression of my story which maybe I didn't necessarily intend, but it's given me opportunity to retell my story, to relive my story, to remind myself why it's so important, and hopefully for people to learn from that and grow with us as we go on this journey together. Probably my most difficult challenge, um, when you start a new business, um, as a woman, you, well, as any new business owner, you carry many hats. So I have found that to be very challenging. So I am the marketing director, I'm the operations director, I'm the CEO, I am, I've done every job. I've packed bottles, I've labeled bottles, I have answered emails and replied to calls and sorted out um, unhappy customers' issues. I've done everything. What I've had to learn to do is carve out times of my day for my children to make sure that that is their time and that they feel that they are loved and nurtured. 
but I also have taken them on the journey with us. So they understand what we do, we include them in everything we do. The greatest impact that I see is the daily feedback that I receive from customers, just in terms of how their lives have changed. And that keeps me motivated to keep doing what I'm doing. So we daily receive feedback from people saying, I'm no longer in pain. Um, you know, this, this issue that I've had in my shoulder for years has suddenly healed. Um, oh my gosh, my skin has cleared up. I've had, I've had issues with my skin for as long as I can remember. Um, that for me is always my number one priority, is our customers come first, and that's why we do what we do. We believe in the products we sell. We believe that they can change people's lives. We believe that um, diet is, is pivotal in terms of good health and wellness. And I believe that if I can impact people's health and wellness, I can impact their lives because your health and your wellness is your foundation of everything you do. If you wake up and you feel great, like you can conquer the day, you can go after your dreams. If you wake up in the morning and you think, oh gosh, I really, I'm in pain and I don't feel great, it completely hinders what you can achieve in your life. So that for me is our number one impact. Um, and then, you know, we believe in, in our uh, kind of monitoring our footprints from start to finish of our process. So we believe that we need to be um, really firm in terms of our values. So like one of our values is using earth conscious packaging. So if I could give my younger self some advice, the number one thing would be that it's going to be okay. It's actually going to be okay. So I'm such a driven A-type personality that for many years of my life I've kind of felt like I have to achieve what I want to achieve now. I've got these dreams and and because this passion burns inside of me, it must mean that I have to outwork this in my life right now. And it's taken me 40 years maybe to actually realize that actually the dreams that are birthed in my heart um, are not necessarily for now. They have a season for me to outwork them and that it's okay to take that time. I would like to be able to go to bed at night knowing that I've not only served my business and the community that we serve, but actually I've done well by my children. It also brings me incredible joy. Um, I have not let being a woman hold me back in any way. In fact, I, I think it's to my advantage, obviously, because this is how God made me. Um, and so I've learned to accept that this is my journey and I can play it out the way that I want to.